Good evening, everyone. I'm Mrs. Mitchell, the high school principal. I'm so glad you could join us for our second virtual awards day. We hope that you will enjoy the evening at home with your family while you watch us give away thousands of dollars to our seniors, along with hearing from our fabulous teachers about their own classroom awards. Now on to the show. I'm so proud of this year's senior class. They have worked tirelessly to fill out scholarships and you can tell that it's really paid off. Let's get right to it. Our first scholarship is the Jeremy Wooden Scholarship. This scholarship is valued at $500. This year's winner of the Jeremy Wooden Scholarship is Tyler Colbert. The next scholarship is the John F. Kennedy Scholarship. This scholarship is valued at $250. This year's winner of the John F. Kennedy Scholarship is Piper Jones. The Skates Family Scholarship is valued at $500. This year, the Skates Family Scholarship recipient is Lennox Rowe. The Isaac E. White Scholarship consists of five $1,000 scholarships. The five winners of the $1,000 scholarships are Jade Pennington, Morgan Schmidt, Gunnar Wilson, Chloe Dennison, and Lennox Rowe. The Ballard Barger Scholarship is valued at $1,000 and will be awarded to two students. This year's Ballard Barger Scholarship winners are Michaela Gray and Jade Pennington. The Jennings Scholarship is a $2,500 per year for four-year scholarship. The total value of the scholarship is up to $10,000. This year, the Jennings Scholarship winner is Lennox Rowe. The Lions Club Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship. This year's recipient of the Lions Club Scholarship is Michaela Gray. The Paul Skipper Bishop's scholarship is valued at $500. Skipper Bishop was from Equality, went to SIC, became a school teacher, but eventually went to work for country companies and became an executive vice president for that company. Skipper's main thing that he wants students to remember is to never forget where you came from, no matter how big you might get in this world. This year's recipient of the $500 scholarship is Morgan Schmidt. This year, there are several recipients of the Carolyn Baltimore Scholarship. The following students were chosen by Miss Baltimore. Case Reister, Gunnar Wilson, Maddie Kuntz, Morgan Schmidt, Jade Pennington, and Sergio Castaneda. Good morning, my name is Dr. Karen Weiss from Southeastern Illinois College, and I'm here today to present 12 scholarships. Each year, Southeastern provides academic, foundation, and divisional scholarships to deserving students. The first set of scholarships I would like to present is from our Foundation Scholarship Awards. The Foundation Scholarship recipients were selected by the SIC Foundation Scholarship Committee and were decided upon by the student's application essay, GPA, and if they had chosen or selected to become a full-time student at Southeastern by fall of 2021. The SIC Alumni and Friends Association Scholarship is our first um, scholarship to be awarded and it was established by the SIC Foundation and the Alumni Association. The Alumni Association awards one scholarship per high school in our district to a deserving student with high academic achievement. The recipient of this year's SIC Alumni and Friends Association Scholarship is Case Reister. The Black Diamond Harley Davidson Scholarship was established to facilitate the education of deserving students who would like to pursue their goals and dreams in higher education. The recipient of this year's Black Diamond Harley Davidson Scholarship is Morgan Oldham. The Franks Family Scholarship in, in partnership with Farmer State Bank was established by the family of Willard G. Franks in his memory to facilitate the education of deserving students who would like to pursue their goals and dreams in higher education as well. The recipient of the Farmer State Bank Franks Family Scholarship is Madison Peets. The Francis Franny Roberts Memorial Scholarship was established by Wendell Roberts to aid in the education of deserving students who would like to pursue a career in cosmetology. This year's recipient is Aubrey Miles. The Chris Kilmer Memorial Scholarship was established by the family of Chris Kilmer to facilitate the education of deserving students who would like to pursue their goals and dreams in higher education as well. The Chris Kilmer Memorial Scholarship this year goes to Lennox Rowe. 
The next scholarship I'm going to present is a divisional scholarship, and these scholarships are given for excellence in, in specific academic divisions and would be categorized into performance-based scholarships based on talent and merit in a specific discipline. Receiving a scholarship in cosmetology is Aubrey Miles. We have two recipients for the Diesel Technology Scholarship, and those recipients are John Adler and Willie Howard, and receiving a scholarship in welding technology is Sergio Castaneda. Southeastern's Presidential Scholarship is awarded to two of the top graduates of each in-district high school who will attend Southeastern Illinois College in the fall of 2021. The Presidential Award this year goes to Gunnar Wilson and Piper Jones. And the final scholarship I have is the High Achiever Scholarship. The High Achiever Scholarship is given to each in-district high school's top academically performing student attending Southeastern in the fall. This year, the recipient of the High Achiever Scholarship is Jade Pennington. Thank you and congratulations to all of the scholarship recipients and congratulations um, on your uh, successful high school career and we look forward to seeing you at, in the fall at Southeastern. Hello everyone, I'm Tammy Galt and I'm here with Lisa Kuntz to present the Teresa Nussbaum Life is Good Scholarships to two very special seniors. Ms. Nussbaum was a teacher and coach for many years in this community. She taught at Shawneetown High School and here at Gallatin County. Ms. Nussbaum taught high school PE, then junior high PE, and finally elementary PE. She also coached girls high school softball and basketball. You are sure to remember her from your days in elementary PE. You know, scooter races, milk crate squats, dodgeball, free play on Fridays with who let the dogs out, blasting on the boombox, and of course the infamous Halloween obstacle course. Tribute was paid to her obstacle course at this year's homecoming decorating contest. It obviously is a fond memory for many of you. Miss Nussbaum had a lot of fun hobbies and interests, including rollerblading, working puzzles, flying kites, making Chex Mix for her friends and family, and taking trips to the beach. She was fond of peanut M&Ms, Charlie Brown memorabilia, the I Love Lucy and the Andy Griffith shows, little big town concerts, Indiana University Basketball, the Indianapolis Colts, and the Tennessee Lady Volunteers. She loves snow days and popcorn shrimp. Miss Nussbaum, all four foot and 10 inches of her, often wore Life is Good t-shirts and the latest style of tennis shoes, which she bought in the kids section. Oh, and the occasional sweatshirt, worn wrong side out with tags showing. What many of her friends love most about her was the love she showed to our children. She spoiled them all with roller skates, kites, fishing poles, and the countless hours just playing. And that brings us to this year's scholarship recipients. Teresa, also known as TT, loved Gunnar Wilson before he was even born. She spent many days at his house playing with him and his brother Grayson. She was always present for birthday parties, swim parties, cookouts, and after school get togethers. I can say with certainty, that she would be incredibly proud of Gunner as a basketball player, a fisherman, a student, and an overall exceptional young man. And where there's Gunner Wilson, there's Maddie Kuntz, and that is our second scholarship recipient. Being Gunner's cousin, Maddie was often at Gunner's house, and Teresa was sure to include Maddie in whatever fun activity she had planned. Because Teresa's family did not live close, she considered her friends to be family and Gunner and Maddie were definitely her family. So on behalf of Miss Nussbaum's family, we congratulate Gunner and Maddie on being awarded this year's Life is Good scholarships. And to all seniors, congratulations. We wish you much, much success, whether you're going on to college or to a trade school or straight into the workforce. Do what makes you happy. Be kind, be humble, be gracious. Make your parents proud, make your teachers proud, make yourself proud. Life is good. My name is Neva Mills. I am the widow of Deputy David J. Mills, more commonly refu refu referred to as Deputy Dave. On March 11, 2008, the Gowton County community suffered a great loss with the sudden passing of Deputy Dave. 
I am proud of each and every graduating senior for all of your hard work and accomplishments to get you to where you are today. Deputy Day was proud to work with the Gowton County District as a DARE officer for many years. He was an extraordinary man who worked diligently to fight crime and drugs in this very community. He strived to make the lives of everyone in the county better. For this, Deputy Dave J. Mills Scholarship Fund was established. The scholarship has historically been awarded annually to a graduating senior who is pursuing a career in the field of law enforcement. Unfortunately, the past few years, the number of students pursuing a career in law enforcement has declined and the scholarship has been expanded to include students with academic, athletic, or community excellence. The students who are awarded this scholarship must promise to lead the community by example and strive to make the community in which they live a better place. I'm honored to present the 2021 Deputy David J. Mills Scholarship to Kinsley Odom. She was chosen uh, by the um, by uh, Dave Cruzen's office uh, as an excellent student, and I want to give a second scholarship this year uh, to Miss Haley Gwaltney, and uh, that's her grandfather, and I think he would be proud that she would be honored with this scholarship. Thank you very much, and I'm so proud of all of the graduating seniors, and God bless and take care of you. Each year in the state of Illinois, the Illinois Sheriff's Association awards over $58,000 in scholarships to an individual from each county within the state of Illinois wishing to pursue a higher education at a school within the state of Illinois. This year's recipient is someone who has uh, achieved uh, goals that will let him uh, pursue his career in law enforcement and this year's recipient is Mr. Tyler Newton. Good evening. I'm excited to be here this evening on behalf of Egyptian Health Department to present a scholarship award to uh, a graduating student here at Gallatin County High School. And every year, Egyptian Health Department awards a graduating senior that is going into health care a scholarship award in, e in each of the counties we serve. So Saline County, Gallatin County, and White County. Uh, every year, a student is selected by our Board of Health, a scholarship committee. And um, this year, I am very thrilled to be able to give this scholarship to Ms. Chloe Dennison. Chloe is pursuing a career in nursing and at SIU Carbondale. And we're very excited about what Chloe will bring back to our, hopefully our local healthcare system. And she has, uh, she presented a wonderful uh, essay that um, really talked about um, the gratitude that she has for the healthcare response to COVID-19. And uh, we're really thrilled to be able to offer the scholarship to Chloe Dennison. Um, good luck to you, Chloe. Hello, I'm Nancy Patton and I'm here presenting the Robert Radar Patton Scholarship. The scholarship is to honor Coach Patton and also to honor a student who represents dedication and excellence to the sports system at Gowton County Schools. Coach Patton was an advocate for sports in the school system and felt that participation in any aspect of the team setting helped to build strong character in these devoted young community members. Coach Patton lived his life to promote youth scholarship in the sports system and in the community. On behalf of Shane, Drake, and myself, I want to present this scholarship to honor the sports system here and the community. We want to give this to a young lady that has dedicated her high school career to sports participation and on an individual basis and as a strong team member. She is a great example 
of community engagement at all levels. This year, I would like to present the Coach Patton Memorial Scholarship to Hannah Deneal. Thank you, Hannah, for all your dedication. We are awarding a new scholarship this year uh, to go along with the college's new eSports team. And I'm happy to announce that Dylan Hall is the recipient of a scholarship for our new eSports team. The Gallatin County FFA alumni would like to congratulate the 2021 seniors. We have awarded five $1,000 scholarships to outstanding seniors. Chloe Dennison, Jade Pennington, Haley Gwaltney, Avery Golden, and Blake Brown. Congratulations. The following students are being recognized for their monetary awards that they receive from their chosen university. Lily Finney will attend Belmont where she received the General Freshman Academic Merit Scholarship, which is valued at $7,000 per year for four years. Haley Gwaltney will attend the University of Southern Indiana, where she received the David L. Rice Scholarship for $4,000 per year and the Illinois Regional Award for $11,000 per year. Chloe Dennison will attend Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, she received the Excellence Scholarship for $7,500 per year for four years, the Counselor's Choice Scholarship for $1,500, and the SIU Legacy Award. Tyler Colbert will attend Murray State University. She received $500 per semester and the Murray State Hudson School of Ag Scholarship for $500. Morgan Schmidt will attend Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. She received the Chancellor's Scholarship full tuition valued at over $102,000. Lennox Rowe will attend Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville. She received the Cougar Pride Scholarship for $4,000 per year for four years. Hannah Daniel will attend Greenville University. She received an athletic scholarship for both softball and cheerleading. Bree Oldham will attend SEMO. She received the Copper Dome Scholarship, which is valued at $2,000 per year, the Resident Life Leadership Award, which is $1,000 per year, the Red Hawks Achievement Award, which is $6,172, and her total package she received is valued at $39,290. Nick Mack will attend Vincennes University. He received the Honors Diploma Scholarship for $1,250, and the Illinois Regional Award for $8,200. Kinsley Oldham will attend Western Kentucky University. She received an academic scholarship for $2,000, a Border State Scholarship for $1,500, and a total package of $28,000 for all four years. Congratulations to all of our scholarship winners. According to my calculations, over 80% of our students that plan on attending college were awarded some type of scholarship tonight. I also want to take this time to recognize our Illinois State Scholars. To be eligible to receive this award, you must score at or above the 95th percentile on your SAT and have an excellent high school record. This year's Illinois State Scholars were Chloe Dennison and Morgan Schmidt. Our next achievement I want to discuss is perfect attendance. Unfortunately, due to the craziness of this year, we could not accurately get a count of perfect attendance. However, we did want to recognize one of our seniors who had perfect attendance for the previous three years of her high school career. Congratulations to Morgan Oldham, who had perfect attendance her freshman, sophomore, and junior year. And I also want to recognize Blake Brown, who had perfect attendance his sophomore and junior year. At this time, I would also like to recognize our students who have committed to the military. For National Guard, we have Dawson Hubs, Sergio Castaneda, and Wyatt Crane. And for the U.S. Army, Scott Flanagan. I also have my own award that I would like to give out. Last year, I started the Be the Light Award. This award goes to one senior boy and one senior girl who exemplify characteristics of being the light at school and in the community. To me, this means showing kindness and compassion to all students and staff members and going above and beyond to be selfless and serve others around them. This year's Be The Light recipients are Gunnar Wilson and Michaela Gray. Hi, I'm Miss Dennison, 
and I'm going to be giving two awards today, the Math 1 Award and the Math 2 Award. For Math 2, I have chosen two hardworking students, Sydney Raymer and Rayfield Field Moy. Both of these students have worked extremely hard this year, whether they were in class or virtual. They're often willing to help their fellow students, and they often ask questions in class every day. Good job, Sydney and Rayfield. And then for Math 1, so I have three classes of Math 1 students. Um, in Math 1, I look for the students that turn in their work on time, ask questions in class, participate, and if they're willing to help their fellow classmates and actively participate in class. The students that I have chosen for the Math 1 award, in fourth hour, Braden Respondic and Brooklyn Sanders. In sixth hour, Israel Vincennes and Ella Dennison. And in seventh hour, Isaac Walters and Austin Wood. Good job to these students. I'm Billy Joe Menard. I teach math in Gallatin County High School, um, specifically Math 3, Pre-Calculus, and Calculus. I'm going to be presenting the Calculus Award, which is going to Garrett Crane, Chloe Dennison, and Morgan Schmidt. And then also I have the Lily Sims Award, which is going to Gunnar Wilson. Hello, my name is Tyler Hatton. I'm a PE teacher at Gallatin County. My PE award, my first one is Israel Vincez. He, Israel is a kid in my first hour PE class. He is one of the biggest pleasures of my PE class. He's always one that is in every single activity. He wants to be a team captain. He participates every single day. I tell the kids, because it's first hour, they're not allowed to change, that they can either walk or play a game. There's usually only eight kids in my PE class. Israel always plays. He's always drenched in sweat. He always tries. Um, he has played horse every single day at the end. Um, just the other day, he won for the first time, uh, so he was super excited. So he's been an absolute pleasure to have in class. He's, um, he's my first winner. My second is Cadence Lunsford, who is in uh, my seventh hour PE class. Cadence is a big class. Um, whether we're playing flag football or volleyball, Cadence always plays. She always tries. Um, when we play flag football, she's been known to tackle the boys. Um, she gives 100%, which is amazing. When we're playing basketball or wiffle ball, Cadence is always trying. She's always happy. Uh, I also have her in health, and every day in health, she's asking what we're doing the next day. If we're setting up the volleyball net, she always sets it up. She's always picking up dodgeballs and putting them in the middle. So Cadence is an absolute um, pleasure to have. And those are my award winners. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Edderback with Gallatin County High School. I teach physical education, driver's education, and I'm here to award the PE award for my PE classes. Uh, the award is based on student attendance, attitude, teamwork, um, and behavior. And the two award winners this year, the female is Piper Jones and the male is Jackson Gross. Good evening. I am Sarah Rushing, the Family and Consumer Sciences teacher at Gallatin County School. We have some amazing students here at the school, and it, it is my honor to recognize a few of them. I have a couple of classes where there was not one student that stood out, except for their personality that they brought to class. For consumers ed slash adulting class, I had a student that always made the class laugh and was definitely missed when he wasn't there. My award goes to Braden Capehart. It's pretty much the same situation for advanced foods. I had a fantastic class this year, and everyone always pitched in and did their part. But there was one student that the rest of the class would send to me when they wanted to ask if they could cook an extra day or something. This was strategic because they knew my own child could usually convince me to let them do something. So my award goes to the meat master, as he calls himself, Riley Rushing. Marketing was a new project-based class that I taught this year. Again, an excellent class that I truly enjoyed. There were several students that could have received this award, but one student just brought that extra to class every day. 
This is even more admirable because this is a student's first year at Gallatin County. Bailey Respondick is the recipient of this award. I have so many dedicated students in sewing class. They have been an excellent group and have really made some exciting pieces this year. One student seemed to pick up the art and just did a fantastic job. My award goes to Brooklyn Sanders. FCCLA stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, formerly known as FHA. We were very proud to have a state officer this year, Tyler Colbert. She did an excellent job and represented our school and community well. For the FCCLA award, I would like to, like to recognize a couple of members that I think have a lot of potential. These members planned to compete last year in our competitive events, but that got postponed. They attended state leadership conference this year, and I'm hoping they will continue to attend more conferences in the future. Paisley Chapel and Bailey Brown are the recipients of the FCCLA award this year. Congratulations to everyone receiving awards and scholarships. I am convinced that we have the best students at Gallatin County, and I am very proud to teach here. Hello, I am Ms. Dom, Gallatin County's favorite business teacher and FBLA advisor. Here we are at the end of another successful school year. It is a huge accomplishment, thanks to students, parents, and staff to call this school year successful. When we started back to school this past August, our everyday routines were thrown in, out the window. We all had to adapt, but we did it. We made it through the entire 2020-2021 school year, here at school every day, Monday through Friday. There were tough days, maybe even weeks. We all struggled at times, but I cannot put into words how proud I am of the students and staff here at Gallatin County Schools for pushing through and making this school year a success. I hope all my students learn something new this year. I hope you grew not only as students, but as people. I hope that I shared a moment with each and every one of you that brought a smile to our faces. Thank you students for a great school year and thank you for making my job so enjoyable. To my students who will return next year, enjoy your summer, make memories and stay safe. I will see you all in August. To my seniors, you all hold a special place in my heart. I have watched you grow alongside my daughter I cannot believe I am saying goodbye to you all. I wish you all the best. I know you will do great things. I will miss you all, but I am excited to see what your future holds. FBLA, like many other extracurriculars, did not get to enjoy the conferences, competitions, and workshops that we usually attend. I had a great group this year, and COVID did not keep students from joining and being involved in what we did. I had 31 members this year. We volunteered to sponsor an angel tree for the Gallatin County Angel Tree Program. We had chapter meetings, holiday parties, and played games. We enjoyed doing activities as a group within our school and the community. I would like to acknowledge my officer team this year who helped organize and plan all of our activities. My seniors who will receive FBLA cords for graduation are Tyler Colbert, Chloe Dennison, and Maddie Kuntz. My junior officers were Addison Bean and Murphy Foster. Addison Bean and Murphy Foster also competed in the FBLA virtual state competition this year. They finished third in broadcast journalism and qualified for virtual nationals. Briley Bear and Hallie Zirkelball also competed at the virtual state competition and finished 10th in website design. This is a huge accomplishment for these ladies as there are more than 90 FBLA chapters in the state of Illinois. Thank you. The 2020-2021 Computer Aided Drafting Award goes to two students this year based on their aptitude in this area. And it goes to Nick Mack and Wyatt Crane. The Billing Trade Award goes to a student this year that's based on workmanship, attitude, and dependability. That award goes to Case Reister. Hi everyone, I am Jennifer Bean. I teach English 3, English 4, novels, creative writing, and a section of English 2. 
And the first award I would like to give today is the English Three Award. It's really hard to choose. We have so many students who excel in English Three. And I decided to give the award to somebody who always participates, always has good discussion, questions, uh, is a very good writer, and I really enjoy getting to know him in class this year, and that is Leighton Glover. So congratulations, Leighton Glover, this year's English Three Award winner. The next award I have to give is for English Four. And I have to say, this year's English Four class has been very fun, one of the most fun classes I've had in years. They have participated. They've enjoyed almost everything that we've read. We've had a lot of laughs and a lot of good discussions. And it was really hard to narrow it down to just one award winner, but I chose Piper Jones. Uh, her positive attitude, not for her joke telling skills, mind you, but her positive attitude, her input on almost everything that we've read has been really fun and enjoyable this year. So congratulations, Piper. On to creative writing. This was a really hard award to just narrow down to one, so I am giving it to three, even though I probably could have awarded most of the class. Been a very spunky group this year, and I have narrowed it down to three people who seem to never have a problem getting started. They always get their papers turned in on time, usually, and have no problem coming up with a narrative, and that is Maddie Coons, Lennox Rowe, and Chloe Paget. So congratulations to our Creative Writing Award winners this year. At this time, I would like to honor our Scholar Bowl teams. Scholar Bowl has been very different this year. We were told at first that we would not have any matches. We continued to practice anyway. And then in February, we were told we can have some matches. So we had to squeeze an entire season of Scholar Bowl into about a month. Scholar Bowl matches usually start in November and end the 1st of March. So we had all the matches that we could, and JV came out undefeated. They were able to have five matches. Um, and at this time, I will mention the team members. Freshman Isaac Walters, Brooklyn Sanders, Ella Dennison, and Josh Gross. And our sophomores, Sophie Howard, Sam Howard, Bailey Brown, and Maddie Cruzen. They have been very enjoyable to work with, and I really look forward to what future seasons hold for them. Our next set of people that I really am going to miss are the seniors on our, our varsity team. We had a very short, very quick season this year. We did end up getting to participate in the, we had our GEC tournament and we had uh, regionals. And like I said, we squeezed an entire season into less than a month. So it was kind of stressful at times, but it was a lot of fun and they did very well. Chloe Dennison, Morgan Schmidt, Piper Jones, Lennox Rowe, Haley Gwaltney and Jade Pennington are the seniors on varsity this year. And Chloe, Morgan, and Piper have been members of the team since they were freshmen. I'm going to miss them so much. Lennox, Haley, and Jade joined this year for the first time ever. I wish they had joined when they were freshmen. But they ended up being good assets to the team. And I'm really going to miss hanging out with them at practice and at matches. The juniors on varsity this year, Addison Bean, Murphy Foster, Bryce Jester, Madison Smothers, and Hallie Zirkelbach. I very much look forward to next year's season. Uh, hopefully we'll be more back to normal by then. And I'm really proud of the way the season went for varsity this year. Good evening, I'm Mrs. Green. I'm the English one and two and drama teacher here at Gallatin County. Tonight for my English one awards, I would like to celebrate two very bright young students. Both of these students try very hard they have excellent attitudes. They are very kind and considerate. Anytime they turn in any paper to me, I am blown away by their work. And I can't tell you how many times I've written yes with many exclamation marks on their papers. So my English One Awards go to Rihanna Chagog and Brayden Respondic. Congrats, guys. My English Two Awards are a little different. One of my awards is kind of a most improved award. Now, if you would have told me last year that I would be giving this kid an award, I'd probably say, what, for making me retire the earliest award? But this year, he's been awesome. He and I get along really well, he writes well, and he actually likes to read, and he likes to write, and he likes poetry, which is, not seldom, which is seldom seen in a uh, high school-aged boy. Anyway, Karen Fillingham, thanks, dude. Congrats. My other English 2 award 
goes to Miss Bailey Brown. Bailey has an awesome personality. She comes in every morning, says good morning to me, has a big smile on her face, is ready to go, loves to read out loud, loves to be um, very helpful, and she's just great. So Bailey, congrats. Now for my drama awards, I have four awards. Drama is a different class. We act pretty silly, we do a lot of crazy things, and the more you get into it, the more I enjoy it. So these kids are always willing to partake in things. They, are, they always have a great attitude, and one I'm particularly proud of because he used to be rather shy. So my drama awards go to Caden Sunsford, Dylan Hall, Nick Mack, and Piper Jones. Thanks. My name is Chelsea Sutton, and I will be presenting awards for my social studies classes as well as for Beta Club. This year, I'm presenting two American History Awards. The students that I give these awards to seem to have a genuine interest in the subject, ask questions, and do really well in the class. I've been really proud of how the kids have adapted this year. Um, they've worked really hard in the classroom and strive to get an education even through COVID. This year's recipients are Briley Bayer and Hallie Zirkelbach. I'm also giving an award to a world culture student that tries really hard and always does his best on everything. He does everything that's expected of him and excels at everything he does in my class. This year's recipient is Braden Respondek. And I don't usually give an award for psychology and sociology, but I had a student this year who really seemed to get into the class. She talked to me outside of class about how she enjoyed the subject and was really interested in it. When she turned in papers and assignments, she went above and beyond what was expected of her, and I thoroughly enjoyed reading her work. So I am giving this award to Addison Bean. At this time, I would like to recognize my senior Beta Club members. This is a great group of students who always work really hard. They're so much fun to be around, and they will be greatly missed next year. So this year's seniors are Tyler Colbert, Raleigh Cox, Garrett Crane, Wyatt Crane, Chloe Dennison, Lily Finney, Haley Waltney, Jillian Harmon, Piper Jones, Maddie Kuntz, Kinsley Oldham, Morgan Oldham, Jade Pennington, Lennox Rowe, Morgan Schmidt, and Gunnar Wilson. Best wishes to all of you in your next chapter. At this time, I'm also going to recognize a few special members of Beta Club. This year was the second year we've attended the state Beta Club convention. This year it was virtual, however, but we still competed. I feel like the team should be recognized for their accomplishments. Chloe Dennison and Morgan Schmidt earned first in technology. Addison Bean, Tyler Colbert, Chloe Dennison, Murphy Foster, and Morgan Schmidt earned second in marketing and communications. Haley Gwaltney earned second in two-dimensional design, and Lily Finney earned second place in performing arts solo. All of these students earned a spot in the national convention, which will be held in Orlando, Florida this summer. And finally, this year's Beta Club Scholarship recipient has worked really hard all four years, but has really excelled in the club this year. She helped spearhead our competitions in the state convention, and along with the team, did really well at the state convention. She organized the events, put in a lot of extra work, and really encouraged her teammates. So this year, the Gallatin County chapter of Beta Club will present Miss Chloe Dennison with a $250 scholarship for her hard work and dedication. Congratulations, Chloe, and best wishes, seniors. Good evening, my name is Heather Volman. I am the life science teacher at Gallatin County High School. To say that this has been an interesting year is an understatement. Looking back, there have been so many difficult challenges, but my students have risen to the occasion and made the best of this year. I have to admit, it's been the hardest year personally in my whole career. The only way I got through it is the desire to be the best for my wonderful students. Their resilience has been amazing. I'm very proud of every one of them for pushing through no matter what was thrown at them, whether it be quarantine, ice, snow, wearing masks, distancing, sickness, shutdowns, and even no postseasons for sports. Whatever happened, they persevered. For all that, I just want to tell all my students, thank you. I have so many deserving students, so it was very difficult to decide who would win. But these particular ones stood out to me based on the following criteria. Dependability, 
effort, a great attitude, and especially good behavior, as well as participation in class, understanding of the material, and excellent grades. So my first award goes to biology. I have two really large classes this year, so I chose two awards for this. The first hour award goes to Landon Holland. And the sixth hour biology award goes to Braden Respondek. Great job, guys. You've worked hard all year, and I really appreciate it. The AMP1 award goes to two girls, and one is actually a remote student, and she's probably the best remote student I've had all year, and that is Sydney Bickett. The other AMP1 award goes to Maddie Cruzen. Congratulations, girls. The AMP2 award this year goes to Gunnar Wilson. And the zoology award goes to Haley Gwaltney. Congratulations to all of my students. And like I said, it was very difficult to choose. Uh, Ms. Adams and I have an award we'd like to give, and we're both members of the Illinois State Science Teachers Association, and we would like to give two awards, and they will be getting medallions for this, and these are to two students that have done exceptionally well in science for four years, as well as being successful in the ACES competition. Way to go, girls, and those two students are Chloe Dennison and Morgan Schmidt. Besides teaching, I'm the student council sponsor. We started out the year not knowing if we would be able to do anything. Even though we missed our dances and blood drives, we were able to have secret pals with teachers and put on a fantastic homecoming with decorating competitions and, with the help of Ms. Rushing and Mr. Kester, have a couple of awesome cookouts. These were definitely the highlight of the year. My student council members, first year members are Ella Dennison, Michaela Gray, Josh Gross, Hayden Moore, Zoe Robbins, and Isaac Walters. My second year members are Sophie Howard, Bryce Jester, Sydney Raymer, Jaden Shear, Faith Zirkeball, and Hallie Zirkeball. My third year members are Briley Bear, Addison Bean, Murphy Foster, and Avery Golden. And finally, these are the students that have been on student council all four years of high school. Lily Finney, Maddie Kuntz, Morgan Oldham, and Morgan Schmidt. Our officers this year were co-presidents, Lily Finney and Morgan Oldham. And Lily Finney was also the district liaison for the LEDSC. And even though they could not have in-person meetings, she did all the Zoom meetings and was great with keeping up with the website. Our vice president was Avery Golden, our secretary was Maddie Kuntz, and our treasurer was Morgan Schmidt. Thank you for all of your hard work this year. We collect points throughout the year for different activities that the students do. And our high point student council winner this year with 310 points was Briley Bear. Congratulations to Briley. Along with Briley, the following students will be automatically on student council next year because they earned 200 points or more this school year. And those students are Hallie Zirkeball with 300, Sydney Raymer with 235, Bryce Jester with 225, Murphy Foster with 220, and finally Bailey Brown with 215. So I'm looking forward to working with those students next year. And to my seniors, I will really miss you and I, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you and have a great evening. Hello, my name is Lindsay Adams. I'm the physical science teacher here at Gallatin County. I wanna give out my classroom physical science awards as well as honor the members of the ACES team. Um, my classroom awards, I, I base those awards on academic achievement, um, as well as positive attitudes and um, leadership skills in the classroom. For, for earth science, the winner is Bailey Respondick, and for forensic science, the winner is Sophia Ward. In chemistry one, I was not able to narrow it down to just one winner, um, so I have decided to honor the Sydneys. I have Sydney Raymer, who we call a science sponge. And I also have one of my remote students, Sydney Bickett. She has been one of my hardest wor working students, um, remote or in person. She is, has always been um, a very hard worker and I've been very proud of her this year. This year in chemistry, I have a student who um, took a year off from chemistry last year, um, but she was able to come back into Chem 2, um, no problem, because she's a very dedicated student um, hard worker, and she's very talented in math and chemistry. Um, she hasn't had a partner, lab partner m most of the year, so she's worked alone, um, and she can handle it. Um, 
She's very mature, and that's Jade Pennington. In physics, we've had a small group in physics this year. Um, we've done a lot of hands-on projects, and um, this person has really impressed me with their projects um, and their skills, and um, they've set records for the school. This year, he made two bridges, um, one of which held a record of 230 pounds, uh, and that's Gunnar Wilson. In AV, um, we split the class up to um, where we do video one part of the year, and then we do a lot of photo assignments the other half. Um, so I have two awards. One is for the AV video, and the other is for the AV photo. Both of these students are multi-year members of the AV class. Um, starting as freshmen, and so I've really get to got to see how they um, grew, how their photography skills have um, really changed and improved, um, and so I was excited to be a part of that journey. Um, the video winner for AV is Chloe Dennison, and the AV photo winner is Piper Jones. Like most things this year, our ACES team had a much different season than what we're normally used to. Um, we did not get to go to our normal uh, competition sites of SIC, SIU, and Eastern University, um, but we were able to, co to compete at every, um, at every competition, and we were able to um, be together as a team and, and eat pizza and have a great time, so um, we're just happy that we were able to participate. Um, this year, we placed second place at the regional competition, and then when we moved on to the sectional competition, we placed second. That then allowed us to advance to state at the um, Eastern Illinois University competition. This year's team was made of Maddie Cruzen, Sophie Howard, Sam Howard, Sydney Bickett, Lennox Rowe, Jade Pennington, Morgan Schmidt, Erica Johnson, Tate Duvall, Tyler Colbert, Lane Henson, Riley Rushing, Isaac Walters, Addison Bean, Bailey Brown, Ella Dennison, Chloe Dennison, Murphy Foster, Bryce Jester, Sydney Raymer, Brain Respondic, Brooklyn Sanders, Fallon Wurgle, and Hallie Zirkelball. Um, we had many awards this year, um, starting with our um, SIC regional award winners. Uh, Morgan Schmidt was first in biology, Chloe Dennison was second in biology, and Maddie Cruzen was third in biology. In computer science, uh, Braden Respondic was first, Ella Dennison and Isaac Walters both placed third. In engineering graphics, Sydney Bickett and Jade, Jade Pennington tied for first place. Isaac Walters was second place. Braden Respondic and Lane Henson tied for third place. In English, Brooklyn Sanders was first place and Sophie Howard was second place. In mathematics, Jade Pennington was third place. Uh, moving on to the SIU competition, we had a uh, record number of medal winners from Gallatin County this year. Um, third place biology was Chloe Dennison and Maddie Cruzen. Second place chemistry was Riley Rushing. Third place chemistry was Chloe Dennison, Lennox Rowe, Fallon Wurgle, Bailey Brown, and Bryce Jester. We also had um, engineering graphics, two third place winners, Jade Pennington and Sydney Bickett. In English, we had a second place, and that was Sophie Howard. In mathematics, we had a tie for second place, and that was Jade Pennington and Murphy Foster. And then finally, at our last competition we, um, we just competed in, Braden Respondic, he won fifth in computer science. So I just want to congratulate the ACES team on a job well done again. Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to next year, and hopefully we can compete in person and, and continue the tradition. Hello, my name is Ben Austin. I'm the director of the Gallatin County Bands and Choirs, and um, I'm going to be giving out uh, three awards this year um, to my three graduating seniors. Uh, first of all, to my graduating uh, band member, Tyler Newton. He has been in band for um, two years, so he will be getting a uh, plaque here with us. Also to my two graduating choir members, I've got one, Abigail Stewart. She's been in choir with us for one year. This year was her first year. 
And then Haley Bonneville has been with me since uh, I first started here, so she's been uh, with me for three years, so she will also be getting a plaque. Um, congratulations to the entire class of uh, 2021, and uh, good luck. Hello, this is Mr. Utterback, and I coach the high school boys basketball team. The 2021 season uh, was definitely an experience that we won't soon forget. Uh, we were talking one day about how we didn't think there was any way there would be a season at all, and then the very next day, we could start practice. And it was scheduled to be a six-week long season, which turned into four with a 20-year snowstorm. Uh, so we crammed as many basketball games in as we could, and in fact, we played 13 games in 18 days during one stretch. Um, we were all exhausted by the end of it, but we had a lot of fun and grew. It was probably the closest to a family feel as I've had with any team. Uh, we finished the season with a record of 5-9 and nine overall and 4-3 and three in the conference. It was definitely a season to remember. The boys team consisted of the following players. The seniors were Garrett Crane, Nick Mack, Case Reister, Nathan Sisko, and Gunnar Wilson. The juniors were Jeremy Brueger, Tate Duvall, Jackson Knott, and Lane Henson. Our sophomores were Jake Colbert, Kieran Fillingham, Riley Rushing, and Eric York. Freshmen were Wyatt Fromm, Maddox Sandifer, Noah Richardson, Dylan Rushing, and Isaac Walters. I am Sarah Rushing, the cheer coach for Gallatin County High School. Although our season looked nothing like we had hoped, we still made the best of it. I am very proud of the cheerleaders for still having the love of cheer, even through the hand that was dealt them this year. I would like to take a minute and recognize our cheerleaders. First, our senior captains, Hannah Daniel, Jillian Harmon, and Michaela Gray. We also had two more seniors on the team, Jalen Ellison and Jade Pennington. Our juniors, Emma Weatherly and Maddie Smothers. Sophomores, Lainey Noss, Maddie Noss, Bailey Brown, Bailey Respondic, Isabel Harmon, and Jaden Shear. And then two freshmen, Lacey Hughes and Adriana Pierce. I would like to wish our seniors good luck, and we hope to see you back at the alumni games next year. Go Hawks. Hello, I'm Matt Lawler. I'm the uh, Gatton County Girls head coach. Um, we had an eight and five season this year uh, for the sixth time in the last, uh, last six years, we've won the uh, regular season GEC conference. Um, Mackenzie Russell and Carly Foster both got um, all conference this year. I think this is the third year in a row for Mackenzie Russell. Um, so I'll go ahead and name off my players. Only senior was Haley Gwaltney. Only junior is Mackenzie Russell. Uh, my sophomores were Carly Foster and Sydney Bickett. Uh, freshmen were Jenna Vickery, Andrea Blaine, Ella Dennison, Riley Nelson, J.C. Blair, J.C. Brugger, and Rihanna Shegog. Thank you. I'm Courtney Legan. I'm the head varsity uh, coach of the high school volleyball team, and this is Kylie Patton. She was my assistant and coached the junior varsity volleyball. Uh, so starting out this school year um, with sports being in limbo, it was kind of hard to watch, you know, all these kids just not doing their normal thing. Um, knowing that we didn't know if we would get a season or if we did when it would start, uh, it, was, it was a humbling experience for the players, parents, coaches, and actually everybody in the community that's you know, used to coming to our ball games. So after 17 months of not being on the court, because we normally have a fall season, uh, we finally got to start our season. Um, we had one week to learn rotations, to do positions, uh, and to gain confidence so that we can go out on the floor and, and do our best. Um, but when you felt that, you knew that the girls were eager to play uh, and they were just happy for it to feel like school again. So the season started, and just like that, we were scheduling games due to quarantines from different schools. Um, we had some weather issues, and then uh, we had absent players, and that was just because they were 
juggling different extracurricular activities that everyone's tried to roll into one semester. So it was uh, difficult, kind of tricky. And um, we're used to like a marathon season. So we start out and it's this long three and a half months process. And this season was just six short weeks, so it was more like a triathlon, but a sprint version. <laughs> so finally, um, we were thrown a bone, and gym capacity started raising. And we were able to invite the players' whole support team, and not just parents or a few people um, with their names on their tickets. And that was for all of our home games and some of our away games. So truth be told, it does sometimes wait to pay off, or <laughs> sometimes pay off to wait. Uh, we ended our season with a 6-8 record. Uh, 10 out of the 14 games, we went to three sets in, so they played tough and they fought hard every time. We battled teams like Marion and Massac um, in our bitter defeats, but then also conquered teams within our own conference. Uh, I'm very proud of the team and their willingness to keep competing and persisting through a school year like this. And regardless of the situation or the scoreboard, I know that they're going to do great things and they'll be able to um, be successful in their futures because they put in the time and the hard work that it takes to pay off. So with that being said, um, starting with our seniors. So we had Hannah Daniel, Avery Golden, Haley Gwaltney, Madison Kuntz, Kinsley Oldham, and Morgan Oldham. We did not have any juniors this year on the team, so we were starting out pretty young for next year. Our, ju or our sophomores were Sydney Bickett, Maddie Cruzen, Hallie Daniel, Carly Foster, Sophie Howard, Cadence Lunsford, Bailey Respondek. And then our new upcoming freshmen for this season were Brooklyn Sanders, Andrea Blaine, J.C. Brugger, Briley Nelson, and Zoe Robbins. And so we want to thank you girls for, for sticking out with us and see the young ones next season and the seniors. Best wishes to you. Hi, I'm Dave Cruzen. I am the head coach of Lady Hawks softball team, and I want to recognize my players at this time. This year we have six seniors, Jade Pennington, Avery Golden, Hannah Daniel. Haley Gwaltney, Morgan Oldham, and Jalen Ellison. We have three juniors, Mackenzie Russell, Megan Morgan, and Reese Brockett. Six sophomores, Bailey Brown, Maddie Cruzen, Hallie Daniel, Cadence Lunsford, Sydney Bickett, and Caitlin George. And three freshmen, Jenna Vickery, Zoe Robbins, and Andrea Blaine. Uh, as of right now, the Lady Hawks have not played any games yet this year, but we're very hopeful for a good season and looking forward to working with these young ladies now and in the future. Hello, I'm Zach McGuire. I'm the head baseball head coach. Um, the 2021 baseball season has just begun. Uh, we couldn't be more excited that it is finally here. Uh, we've only had three games so far. We're one and two, um, but the boys have a lot of energy and a great uh, attitude to learn the game. Um, that makes my job easy and a lot of fun to coach them. We have a lot of games left on our schedule, so if you are looking for something to do in the, these crazy times, uh, come out and support the boys. Uh, the team consists of the following players. Uh, seniors, Blake Brown, Austin Wood, and Nick Mack. Juniors, Isaac Jester, Bryce Jester, John Cox, Lane Henson, Jackson Knott, and Jake Aarons. Sophomores, Darren Newton, Jake Colbert, and Eric York. Freshmen, Isaac Walters, Lucas Jackson, Dylan Rushing, Noah Richardson, and Josh Gross. Hi, my name is Jennifer Wilson. I am the Gallatin County Archery Coach. Archery is a relatively new sport at Gallatin County. However, it is one of the oldest sports there is. It can be dated back to the Stone Ages. It is becoming a very popular sport amongst high school students. Currently, we have two students in our high school participating in archery, Andrew Hubbs and Addison Monroe. I can't say enough good things about these two students. They are truly dedicated to the sport. They have won many competitions at the local, state, and national level. Good luck to Andrew Hubbs and Addison Monroe. I know you will go far. And yes, in the future, I do plan on watching you two in the shoot down. 
Remember, practice like you've never won and perform like you've never lost. Thank you. Hello, this is Mr. Utterback, and I am the high school boys and girls cross country coach. Our cross country season went off pretty much like normal with the exception of smaller meets and we had no state finals. However, we did have regionals and sectionals. Carly Foster advanced from regionals to sectionals um, during this year. And overall, every member of the team improved their times throughout the course of the season. The members of this year's team were, for the boys, Braden Respondic, Logan Reeder, Sam Howard, and Braden Capehart. And the girls were Carly Foster, Sophie Howard, and Bailey Respondic. On behalf of Ryan Wilson, I would like to introduce you to the Gallatin County fishing team. Wyatt Crane, Garrett Crane, Jake Colbert, Gunnar Wilson, Ryan Hawkins, Colin Monroe, and Andrew Hubbs. This is a new sport to Gallatin County and the kids seem to really enjoy it. Yesterday, Ryan Hawkins and Colin Monroe brought home second place for the Gallatin County fishing team. They were in the Mount Vernon High School Invitational. They also won the biggest fish. So congratulations to those boys. Thank you all for watching our virtual awards day ceremony and congratulations to all the recipients. A special thank you to Miss Adams who used her talents to make this event possible.